Well, hello and welcome to this the latest edition of the Crypto AM daily catch up over virtual coffee, where we're going to be joined by Who Really Knows and we're going to talk about Who Really Knows. So it's Easter Friday, Good Friday. Uh, we've been in lockdown in the UK for several weeks now. And hopefully we'll get some people joining us today to share their experiences about what's going on, where they are, um, how they're responding, reacting, and what they think the next step should be. So here's another good meeting. Oh, we've got another joiner. Um, yeah, Robert's joined us, him. Yeah. Okay. So I'm, 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 hi there. Hi, Robert. Hey, how are you? Hey, I'm good. How are you? Excellent. Good. Gosh, it looks like you're in a nice environment. <laughs> I'm in Sofia, Bulgaria. Oh, wow. Okay. Has the snow gone away yet, Robert? It's still, well, there is some on the mountains up there. I don't know if you can see that. But um, uh, there's none here. Uh, we've got, it's, it was snowing for two days last week, snowing for two days a week before, but mm -hmm. that's all gone now and it's blue skies. Gosh, lovely. So I'm beginning to get a little bit suspicious about the blue skies because I think since about the 14th or 15th of March, it has been sunny at some point every day since then. <laughs> yeah. And I, I've never known that before. I mean, I, I take an interest in meteorology and the weather. And I, I've never known it where every single day at some point there has been sunshine well, in England, rather. Well, this is sub floor, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, it's um, quite unusual because we normally expect April showers, don't we, at some stage. And this, this time around, um, it's really gorgeous. Yep. Yeah. Who uh, wants a coffee? Oh, a coffee? Yeah. Uh, oh I, that looks I, lovely. Take us into your store. You see, here you go, Gary, what we talk about, virtual events. So here well, we go. So if Robert was hosting this we get, event... We don't go in. Just, we, just, we just had a little hole in the wall. Yeah, I see. Right. So I, I've, I've got my coffee here with, with right. branding well, and everything I, as well. But the problem I've is... Got, <laughs> I like the branding. I'm on water. I bet it didn't cost 21p. No. How much is it costing you there? Then Robert, is that in a uh, fifty lev? Uh, fit no half a lev, mm -hmm. whatever they call the fifty lev. So that's about what uh, one Bitcoin SV. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, I, I guess because you're more of an Ethereum person, you don't really follow what's going on with Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV at the moment. It's hard to keep. Well, it's not hard. It's impossible to keep up with Ethereum. Do you guys read that week in Ethereum? No. Oh. That's just, uh, it takes me a week to read it. <laughs> and then really? by, Goodness. by the time I've finished, there's another one out. It is, it is extraordinary, the progress those guys are making. It is a quite rapid pace, but are, are they at the point yet of actually getting to proof of stake? Well, that's phase zero. We can change to go live at the end of July. Okay. So uh, let's see what happens. Yeah. So, Corby, what, what, what else is happening in the uh, conference world? Well, moment? so that, I mean, no, I think it's a good chance to reflect and see how we can innovate events and take them forward for the audiences, because clearly the community is still there and you need to keep, you know, you need to keep that uh, ecosystem going of speakers and delegates that want to learn about what's happening, what's going on. So I think it's really about innovation. Uh, and those conversations are happening in this, uh, I think, very quickly, um, you'll, you'll start to see um, most events just sort of moving online and dates put in, the, put in the sand. And if we are able to do them physically, then I think that, you know, those dates will be honoured. But most of the events have moved straight out of Q2, even Q3 into, into Q4 now. So yep. I think we're all uh, there waiting, aren't we? Are you looking at any technology platforms like Remo or... Uh, the one um, well, I just literally took some notes yesterday. I, I like the one that I liked was a platform called Intrado, which is a uh, Intrado is a platform based in the states. Uh, it's a company, digital media, and I quite like some of the stuff that they were promoting. But there are several players now coming to the table, um, so we'll 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 see. Yeah, it's kind of interesting because I mean I'm using Zoom by default because yeah. it's pretty easy to use. Yeah. And, you know, there's a low cost version or zero cost version, but in terms of um, the flexibility and features, I've been on a few calls with Remo, 
which is like a virtual networking platform. It's really good. I can introduce you to that if you want. Yeah, That's that worth be looking great. at because yes. you can do you can do things like have sponsored tables. Right. So, so, so you can have breakout sessions with um, a sponsor for each table. So it, it is more conference oriented in some ways, but sure. it's also very good for virtual networking, remote networking. Oh, no, I'd be very interested to take a look at that. Thank you. Cool. Okay. What are the costs involved in that? Uh, it, it kind of varies on a uh, number of attendees and that kind of thing. So it, I'm sure it's one of these things that the first few attendees is very low cost and then it rapidly increases. Mm -hmm. um but I'll, I'll dig out what the, the fees are and that kind of thing if you're both interested yeah, just, in some way because I, 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 I think it is going to be the new normal of um Absolutely. you know even running meetups and that kind of thing i i um i gotta so, say i don't like the sound of that <laughs> what, why is that no. you, you well, don't physically meet up anymore i definitely do that's why i don't like the sound of going being virtual and online i know See, well, I think to be honest, you can't beat face to face, and it is so much nicer having that um, facial meeting. But I just think, as an interim, as a stopgap, I mean, look at us now. I mean, how many of us all are socially on Zoom and meeting up with our friends and our relatives through Zoom or WhatsApp video? Because you know, you can't replace the face to face contact. Yeah. So it's, yeah. One, yeah, mean, it's one step removed. Just, just, and Oh, yeah, several steps removed, really. <laughs> But I mean, yeah. I, I, uh, I'm not really using Zoom that much since of all these vulnerabilities were, were publicized. So, you know, yeah. most of those have been closed off now, though. So the, 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 ma the major one was when you clicked on a URL and it executed a, a file on remote server. They, they patched that last week. The one about... It's unbelievable. I mean, it's got one job and it failed. Mm. So, I mean, my goodness. But I mean, how long has that been open for? Yeah, there was but, only a good deal on started tweeting about it. They've done something about it. I mean, that's that's just. Uh, and that's I think that's a, I think that's a fair thing that they have it. They do seem to have a bounty program because I was reading a blog earlier on today from someone who again had spotted a Zoom vulnerability with it sharing credentials and that kind of thing, and he posted mm -hmm. it, shared it with Zoom. And they paid him I think it was three thousand dollars and gave him some freebies, so oh, that right. they are improving. But you're right, the, the stuff in there that shouldn't be in there for a, a scale. That, 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 that's like McDonald's giving you a French fry. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I, I found it funny though, because I, I was on a Zoom call um, yesterday. Was it yesterday or the day before? Sorry, t Tuesday, whenever Tuesday was this week. Um, and it was the all party parliamentary blockchain group. And they were talking right. about, and it was really funny because they were talking about digital identity and security. And they were hosting <laughs> it on Zoom. Yeah. So it's kind of like there's a certain irony about that in some ways. No, but... Do Zoom do Zoom have a main competitor? Is there anybody out there that's really strong? Well, Skype would probably argue yes, they are, or Google, Google Google Hangouts, or yeah. Meet, Google Meet, which whichever version it is now. Well, it's called Google it? Chat now, isn't it? Google Chat. Sorry, yeah. yeah Google Chat. Just rebranded. But yeah. I mean, which just one, back, back which to one do you use, Robert? Which one do you prefer? Well, to... uh, I. I would like there to be a decentralized version, but uh, I tend to I tend to go for the uh, Google Chat now because it's uh, so ubiquitous, and it's built right. into Calendar and um, okay. the whole G Suite. So it's 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 you know it is that convenience factor. Although yeah. G Suite isn't cheap, but um, what were you going to say, Gary? Well, I was going to say, Robert, have you used Peepo? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's not bad. I mean, yeah, so, okay. so Pe the thing Pe is. is yeah, it's, 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 it's only good for short type video type things, but mm -hmm. you know, Corby, just for your info, if you don't know, P Peepo mm -hmm. um, is built out by uh, the Simple Team Token, sorry, Simple Token Team, right. um, and it's an Ethereum based uh, decentralized video platform for okay. put it, putting out small videos. So it's really cool because it, it follows the principles of. Um, a blockchain based solution running on ethereum that's decentralized fantastic yeah i mean i'm hoping to see a lot more of those come um in the not too distant future yep but, um, but, but i suppose that's the other thing as well about what we're all going through at the moment with lockdown and uh, migrating onto remote working and virtual type stuff that all of a sudden people are realizing actually some of this stuff isn't quite fit for purpose Mm -hmm. it, it, it's, well, it's, it's a good stress test yeah yeah 
and, and that, that's where it's interesting that you will see alternatives coming up now. So whereas up until now for you know this kind of conversation, Skype, WhatsApp, Messenger. Um, oh, I, I, well, do... I want to talk about Skype. I, I, I've still got to be in my bonnet about Microsoft taking off the encryption layer as soon as they bought Skype back in the mm. day. So that was a bit disappointing. Yeah, and, and I think that's the thing that all, all the big players are all putting in place capabilities by acquiring other providers and that um, and not really building them out in the way that the community wants them. So that's, that's why I find it refreshing with the likes of Pipo. You see, I'm just thinking, you know, I'm, I'm, what Cisco, Cisco and WebEx, I mean, obviously it's there for the enterprise community, but whether or not they should be pushing that out for the consumer or having a consumer version of it. Mm -hmm. Well, I, th I think that's part of it. That you, you look at um, WebEx used to be the industrial scale that's right. commercial platform that everyone used and everyone went through the pain of, pain of, oh, you want to connect to this WebEx, you need to download this thing and you have to add oh, this yeah. thing. And, you know, <laughs> that's the good old well, well, got, I'm ex-Cisco, sorry, so I'm very passionate about it. But it has got better. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but you, you compare it to the experience where... With Zoom, you know, you can click on a URL yes. and quite often you Straight don't need to download yeah. anything. It's brilliant. But as, as I was saying to the other day, uh, this kind of stuff is a classic trade-off between usability and security. Mm. And, you know, Web WebEx was very secure, very reliable, but yeah. was a pain in some ways to yes. connect to. Yes. So Zoom yes. is beautifully simple and you get validly, as Robert says, the criticisms about its security and everything. So it is a trade-off, definitely. I mean, I'm sure they'll, they'll patch it, but in my mind, it's like, well, what, what don't we know about yet? So yeah, they patched the ones that were publicized, but um, yeah, I'm just, when, when, someone, when someone loses my trust, when someone loses my trust, it's for, for a platform like that, that are well-funded, that have been around for a while, um, yeah, it's uh, it takes me a while to rebuild that or for but, them to re-earn it. But, but you're right, trust is something that takes a long time to build and very little time to destroy. Yeah. Uh, 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 absolutely. I, I completely get, get, get that. Yeah. So, yeah, but then it, again, it comes down to you know, usability and convenience and uh, as I was discussing... Well, got, the, the main thing is the network. Yep. Well, well, like you say about the URL, I guess it doesn't really matter about the network too much in that in that um, in that sense. Yeah. But, but oh, did, so, you see, did you see that? Was it Skype that are doing? Um, you'd have to join up to do something. Uh, to those guys. Someone just uh, saw a press release the other day, and it was just uh, like you said about the link on Zoom. Just click on the link. You'd have to sign up or be a member. Okay. All oh, right. Yeah, that was up there. Maybe Skype will have a resurgence in some way then. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. but again, it's something. Um, I'm surprised more people don't use Google Chat because, um, again, that seems fairly simple to use and fairly easy. Mm. But it seems it, it's another of these classic Google products where they spin it up, they scale it out, and then they do nothing with it and they kill it off or let it flounder type thing. Yeah. Well, when you say Google Chat, you're talking about the rebranded Google Hangouts? Yeah. Okay. I, I, most of my clients are on that. So, um yeah, I mean, I'm, I've got a call in 10 minutes. Um, I just joined this one because I saw your thing saying you sent the wrong link. So I had okay. a, a 10 minutes of coffee and yeah, it was perfect. Because uh, I try and join um, Gary's, because I, I really appreciate people that in the community that spend their time and put their passion and their energy into something and keep it going. Even when, you know, sort of people are busy or, mm. or you know, whatever reasons. So whenever I can join, I do. It's only my second time, but... Um, we're getting super busy with the testing, so my, a lot of my time has been taken up with that now. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Robert, well, what, do you do, what do you do, Robert? So we're building a testant, a testant.io, and oh. that is um, institutional grade staking for Ethereum 2.0. Oh, wow, okay. So yeah, so we're, if you've got 32 or more ETH, we can set up a validate for you. We're non-custodial, so um, we never have your withdrawal keys. We just have your staking keys. Yeah, okay. And that's a message about my next meeting just after. Right. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, that should be quite exciting. We've been talking about this for several months. We've incorporated now. We're just getting backing hounds. We've got the lawyers on board. So yeah, it's all kind of getting getting real, crystallizing, and solidifying. And there you go. Well, wish you well. 
and, and you've now just got a free advert for it uh, through this video. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Right. Well, I think I'm actually going to have to go as well because I've just looked at the time. Um, I sort of allocated myself 30 minutes, but I will join you again, Gary. And I, it's only the second time that I've joined. Um, so possibly after Easter. Have a happy Easter, everybody. Likewise. Yeah. Again, and yeah. As I was saying, you know, do, do, do pop back. Yeah, People just I connect or disconnect. Will. Yeah, no, I'm quite, I'm, I do put the odd posting on a couple of the sites now, City AM uh, and, and a few of the others. So I'll, I'll keep saying your thing there which is good i i'm i'm i might boycott london till 7 a.m go back to print <laughs> <laughs> that, was one of the, that was one of the things i really look forward to at AM. it's just it's succinct it's, it's, it's yeah it's I, I, li I like the style i like the content and, yeah um, yeah so i mean i'm not i'm not i haven't been in london for, for, for a month or so but um it is no, um no. It is a bit sad that they've uh, gone online. I can understand why, obviously, but still, yeah. it's um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I um, like print as well. To be honest, I'm a print person. Yeah. Rich, rich traditionalist. <laughs> okay, Cor Corby, I'll say goodbye to you and say bye hello bye. to Jacob. Okay. Bye so, bye, bye for yeah. now. See you. Ciao, bye, bye. bye bye. Jacob, good afternoon. How are you? Are uh, you staying on mute, Jacob? Hey, Jacob, can you hear me okay? Hey, ja hey Jacob, can you hear me okay now? I can't, can't hear you at the moment. Hey, Anthony, good afternoon. So, Anthony, I see you just connecting. <laughs> Hi, good, af good afternoon to you. Hi. you. You've missed out on all the fun today. Uh, we had a couple of others on before. It looks like I've been sending out the wrong link to the meeting. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And, and so everyone, I think, was connecting, and it was saying, Gary Nuttall is in another meeting. When I, I wasn't, I was in the meeting thinking, where is everybody? No one's <laughs> connecting today. Everyone stood you up, yeah. Exactly. Hey, Jacob, can you hear us now? Hi there. Robert just left. I was just about to say hi. I met him last at the uh, Coin Fest the previous year. Oh, yeah. Connection yeah. issue. So there you go. Yeah, he's out in Sofia at the moment, enjoying the sunshine and the snow. Oh, very nice. Uh, he just popped in. Where, where about you then, Jacob? Uh, Portsmouth. Portsmouth, okay. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Anthony, you're just, is it South London? Yeah, Beckenham. Beckenham, yeah. It's kind of funny because this session got delayed today, but when I've been running these for the last week or so, um, you either get meetings where you've got people from New York, Hong Kong, Singapore, wherever, or everyone is from somewhere around London within the M25. So, so with the exception of Roberts when he was on a minute ago and he was calling in from Sofia, I think everyone's UK based today. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so how, how are you handling the uh, lockdown, Anthony? Well, because the weather is nice and because we have a lovely garden, it's okay, really. Um, so um, I'm, you know, I'm working from home, so it hasn't, and I, I used to work from home quite a bit anyway. So it, it's, it hasn't really, that side of things hasn't really changed that, that drastically much. I mean, I never go into the office now, whereas I used to more regularly go into the office, but. Uh, okay. You know that side of things, but it is kind of weird, sort of how quiet it is, and you know how, you know how, and also we're all we're all home, you know now. Mm -hmm. So I've got you know a house full of people. Fortunately, during the day we each have our own floor, so <laughs> and we but me, you know, we meet for meals and stuff. So I, I mean, you know, um, I, I I don't mind being at home. So you know, it's just sort of adjust. You just have to adjust your expectations to yeah, I'll be at home. You know. Yep, I find it quite interesting with it being Easter, and one of the things I really dislike about Easter is the fact that all the shops are closed and there's nowhere to go and there's nothing to do. I feel like, <laughs> oh, so that's like every day. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's a new, yeah. new normal. But but you're right as well. I'm in a few of the groups where we've been talking about remote working and um, virtual mm. working and that, 
and it's fascinating the people who are independent and have been working you know hot desking and all this kind of thing for a few years this kind of stuff of working from home is nothing new to them and so yeah. they, they've adapted to it really well yeah because there's nothing to adapt to greatly well, whereas the people who are used to working in an office are going oh this is so strange you know it's bizarre so i'm sure yeah. they'll get used to it well yeah i guess it is strange i don't remember when i shifted away from office work to working from home on a regular basis whether i thought it was strange. i mean I don't, I don't remember sort of any sort of adjustment having to be made you know the main Jay Jacob, where, where is it you work or what is it you do, sir? Uh, so I'm in Portsmouth. I run an OTC desk um, uh, in Hampshire called Go-To Trader. I was just going to say that uh, one time uh, me and my partner went to London. Um, he's uh, a few years older than me and I took the laptop and the Bitcoin wallets with me and things like that. And we, we, did it, we got a phone call and it's like, well, we've got to stop in a cafe and do a trade. And in today, back on the train, he was like, Wow, you know, it really is a mobile office, isn't it? Because it was yep. so unfamiliar to him, and yeah. you know, the client had no, uh, didn't know. They just got their coins like normal. Everything was good, you know, because we're a small operation. Literally, we're the two traders, so uh, you know, the office was on the road that day. So yeah. Yep, and I think the thing that a lot of people just don't realise it. I I used to do a lot of my stuff in Starbucks, and does it matter if you're in Starbucks or Costa or an office or no. a home? These days, it really doesn't. You're you're absolutely I'm, right. You know, I was skiing with a guy who was doing deals on his cell phone. You know, while we were, you know, on the lifts, or he'd stop and just check, and then he he'd respond. We'd be on the slope, and he was responding, and you know, doing because I mean, it didn't really matter, and everything was done via via messaging and emails. So you know, he didn't need to be. He could quite quite happily have a full day skiing, and you know do deals so you know no, it's uh, yeah. I, I, would, I would be a little bit nervous about the uh buy no 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 i didn't say buy i said sell yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Right, guys. so um jacob are you dealing like uh crypto otc then or f physical stuff as well uh, just the crypto otc so um yeah, we started a company about a year and a half ago, more on the professionally as opposed to what I was doing before. And yeah, it's a ninety percent Bitcoin, ninety percent purchases. Um, yeah. yeah. Were you on the call the other day then? Um, yeah, about a week ago. Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember now because I mentioned about the aquarium down on the the, the yeah kind of, kind yeah. of down by the docks. Just closed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we did a we did a walk this morning and uh, with the kids and uh, it's lovely out there, but yeah, uh, quieter, which is good. What it needs yeah. to be. Yeah. Well, we're, we're finding it because I, I live quite close to um, a, a local wood uh, on the edge of the countryside and we, we used to walk the dogs down there and it's getting busier and busier now because everyone else is discovering it. Yeah. So it, it's, it's kind of bizarre that the, the countryside is actually getting quite busy um, as, as everyone going to the, oh, how do I exercise and go for a walk? Hmm. Well, dog so, owners I, definitely always have to do, you know, you're, if you own a dog, you pretty well have to go for a walk. So, you know. Yep. Well, we, we've got two dogs and two children, so we can kind of split our time on when we go and exercise them and everything. So, yeah. um, guys, really, really sorry. Uh, it looks like I was actually on for a while with, with Corby before, and so th this call's going to run out in the next few minutes. Okay. So, sorry, it was a bit um, fragmented. And usually we have a few more people on the call and we can chat through various things. But I'll, I'll run another one pro probably Tuesday onwards, um, some sort of time, and I will try and get the meeting details correct. Are Anything you gonna, in particular? Are you gonna have it at the same time, or uh... yeah, I, I try and keep it consistent because that way people can just stick it in the diary and know yeah. it's, it's at two p.m. each day. Yeah, I thought it was two o'clock. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it it should have been uh, until I, I realised I was saying to Anthony, I, it looks like I might have sent the wrong link out mm -hmm. to people initially. Yeah. So, so it means everyone was waiting for me to enter the room when I was already in a different room, uh, wondering where everyone and was. And not everyone's on Telegram as well, so hey-ho. Yeah. yeah, that's the way it goes. So guys, th thanks a lot for coming along today. Um, well, do, do come and join me another time, and I shall close with my standard thing then of now wash your hands. <laughs> uh, have a, have <laughs> a good one, guys. Nice yeah. to meet you. Speak again. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.